So, well, welcome to chill, chill time with hanging with yours truly. Uh, as such, I brought a guest in today. Please introduce yourself. Pizza Ruler One Two Three. He's back. This is his second appearance on this channel. Hmm. So how you doing? Fine. Fine. Um, I thought I thought you were upset for a second, like a second ago, because you're like playing this Magikarp app game. And you're like, the freaking Magikarp evolved into Gyarados, which is kind of odd when you think about it, because, I mean, usually people are pretty happy when their Magikarp evolves into a Gyarados. But in this case, you were upset. Yeah, because you can't compete in the tournament if your Magikarp is a Gyarados. So that, that is unfortunate. So I've never need... heard of the app. It's called uh, Magikarp Jump. So is, is it a big deal? Uh, a lot of people seem to like it. So, so it's a big deal. Yeah, it's uh, better than what Pokemon Go has become. What? Well, I still you play know, Pokemon, Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go has fallen to the wayside for most people. Yeah, yeah it has. But hey, taking over a gym now is like super easy. But, um... Uh, Speaking of falling to the wayside, they also messed up even more recently because people were expecting Pokemon stars and instead, like, Mega Moon and friggin' Mega... Uh, Isn't it Ultra uh, Sun? Whatever it's called. <laughs> it's coming out and it's gonna be for the 3DS. Yeah, just like Sun and Moon. Yep. How does that make you feel? Hmm. It didn't bother me too much, but it bothered a lot of people. So, uh, you, you played Pokemon Sun and Moon, right? Mm hmm Like, back back when that was a pretty new, confangled sort of thing. How Did you like it? Yeah, but I never finished the after story. You never finished that, and neither did I. <laughs> I gotta be Beauty. honest. Like, it, it's not a bad game, I just didn't find myself going... Oh man, I got I gotta do more. I got I got I gotta go fight red. I gotta fight blue, cause I mean th this is one of the selling points, you know. You beat the game and then all of a sudden, man, I can I can do what I normally do when it comes to the Pokemons. I had none of that. They're also bringing gold and silver back to the 3DS. Wait, wait, wait like like from the eShop or they're remaking it again? No, the eShop. The okay. So. Yeah. Well, to be fair, I did like those are my two favorite, like uh, gold and silver. That that was my jam. Uh, people are pissed off that crystal is uh, not coming. Why? I because mean, crystal I, I, can, I can only think of like one thing, or I can think of two things. One, because you know, yellows on the eShop, but then they're like. Now nah, we're not gonna bring Crystal, and it's like, man, we I want Crystal. I want to go fight Suicune. I want the more story-driven dialogue to everything. And I mean, that, that's my other point. It's like, I guess in terms of like the second gen, Crystal had a lot more uh, story to the whole ambiance of the second generation. Also, now that I think about it, you had the option of playing as a girl, which was a first back then, or at least in America. Actually, no, I, I think originally, like, for the red and blue, or I, I guess green, like, in Japan, like, uh, I, I think they intended for, like, some sort of, like, female option, but it never came to fruition, so, uh, Crystal was really, like, the first. What kind of option? Uh, to play as a, to play as a girl, man. Oh, female option. Yeah, yeah. That was the first one that allowed you to do that? I don't think it did or if it was it was in the J japanese release but oh. uh, again I, I don't i don't think it was i don't know i don't have the facts in front of me so forgive me viewers it's not like i can just log on to the internet be like was female options available in red and blue in japan or something like that and you know give give it to you straight here and now like the things that you'd want to hear yeah. So, uh, um, let's see. 
basically they're mad because Crystal's not coming and they wanted that more story, basically. I mean, I, I guess. But, um... Well, what extra special thing do they have? Was it in Heart Gold and Soul Silver? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was. And if I remember correctly, you had a different female character than you did in Crystal. Maybe they, uh... Maybe they, like, put that in there, but, uh, they just didn't mention it yet. Uh, I mean, no. No, okay, so look, looking at... look. So looking up what I just said, you know, in terms of looking it up, uh, apparently Crystal was the first that you actually got to choose between being a man or a woman. Well, it's not really man or woman. Per well, se. okay, boy or girl, but you get my point, male or female. Yeah. And so, yeah, ever since then, like, you kind of had the option of choosing between being, playing as a dude or a dudette and being like, hey, this is cool, because I wanted to be a dude or a dudette. And so, you know, me being the guy that I am, I, I have a tendency to play as the female character, because, I don't know. If you ever watch the anime, you notice how they generally tend to focus on the dude, so it's like, whenever there's like a female option, they always get shunned. Yeah, but don't you typically play a female anyway? That's what I was just saying. I mean, in general, in games. That's what I was just saying. Oh. Well, okay, I'm done. Pokemon. I don't know, yeah. it switches. Like, say, for instance, when I play Stardew Valley, you know, I, I, I try to play as, you know, my particular character, Gildum. Because mm -hmm. that's just how I am. But, I mean, sometimes it just doesn't work that way. Or sometimes I, I just want to play as a chick. I mean, don't judge me. It's just like this ad bonus of being like, "Hey, look at me! I, I'm getting a whole different experience playing as a as a woman, even though it doesn't really add anything to the overall gameplay." <laughs> I don't know. I have this weird thing wherever, whenever I play games, and there's some sort of romancing option between, you know, either being like straight or gay. I have a tendency to just play gender neutral bisexual. Is that weird? I don't think so. I mean, it. I had this weird question brought up when I, uh, when I was playing Undertale. Not anything for the channel, mind you. Just like in general, I was playing Undertale once because uh, I finally sat down and decided, hey, I want to play Undertale and see what all the hubbub is about, even though it's like over a year and a half old. So I did, and then my friend. He just asked me, so, are you role-playing as, like, a, a male or a female? And I was just saying, I'm, I'm role-playing as a gender-neutral gender bisexual. <laughs> I'm hitting on everybody. <laughs> and not hitting on everybody. You see, I just, I don't care. If I'm attached to something, I might as well hit on it or something along those lines. And don't get me wrong, it's not like I'm saying... This is how I am in real life. I'm just saying, like, uh, it, it, it's all good, baby. It's like, what does it matter? Yeah, it's like, this is who I am, Dad. No! No! Oh, my God, I just realized. Do you know how <laughs> awkward it would be if I had to explain that to my dad? <laughs> no, it'd be terrible. It'd be horrendous. It's not even in the sense that, like... I, I'm I'm actually like bisexual or gay in real life, you know. I'm I'm I don't know if I could say I'm as straight as they come, but at the same time, it's like I I prefer women over dudes. But that's just my preference. But at the same time, it's not like I'm saying there's anything wrong with like sexual preferences in general. I mean, it's all good. I I, I have to say there like it, there's nothing wrong with it at all. Imagine if there there was like a guy who really wanted a gay son, um, and then his son turned out straight. And um, his well, I mean, son's... I didn't want to say anything, but uh, someday that might happen to me, and someday I'd be perfectly fine with wanting that. But like, 
uh, he's he's explaining to his dad. His dad's kind of upset. He's like, "This is how I am, Dad. I like girls." <laughs> Son, I, I, I want you to be gay, and I want you to be gay now. <laughs> that would be so fucked up, bro. <laughs> I mean, like, like it, that, that's I an interesting concept. I'll, I'll give you that one. I mean, like, I, I could totally get behind that. It's just like, I don't even know how to explain that. It's, it's like one of those weird scenarios that I don't think works. Or at the very least, you'd have to have a very elaborate setup. I could imagine a very short skit based around all this, but at the same well, time... Well, um, today's millennials, you know. Today's millennial. Well, see, I figure, like... I, I don't know. The only way I can see something like this happening is, uh... Actually, I can't. I don't know. It's just a weird concept. And, but, um, but I mean, like, if someone can pull that off, and I, I feel like there, there is a way to do it, but I cannot think of it. Like, like, um, all my life I've been dressed as liberal, and I wanted a gay son to show that. But now you disappoint me and tell me you're not. I, uh, I feel like I feel really like just... you'd have to tread on some stereotypes if you're going to try to pull this off. I got to. I had to make you wear a neckerchief and you wouldn't do it. Or, or, like take... so, or like some sort of really, really stereotypical gay profession. I tried to take you to a gay strip club on a... Uh, I wanted a male... I birthday. wanted a male stripper. I wanted a male dancer, damn it. You disappointed me. You couldn't give male prostitution a shot, shot could you? <laughs> We would have been living on Easy Street, damn it! <laughs> you could have like, gotten like some somehow, like, male prostitution ends up becoming a very lucrative business. Yeah. You could have gotten some sympathy from the LGBT, dang it. <laughs> nah, man, it's... <laughs> I mean, maybe, I don't know. I, I feel like the LGBT would not support this. Or if they did, I, I don't even know what to say. I mean... I can't speak for him, for one, because, you know, I'm just a privileged white male with a penis, so, you know, who am I to say what is right and what is wrong? Nah, the LGBT's kind of a joke anyways. Nah, I mean, like, I, I feel like there's some legitimacy towards them, it's just at the same time, uh, whatever I say is wrong. They're a political party, and they don't care about the individuals they claim to support. I mean, or do they? Yeah. No political party really cares about the people. I mean, if you want to bring politics into this conversation, I mean, that's a heavy, that's a heavy topic that I don't even know if yeah. I can properly discuss without treading on some fingers and toes and hitting everything with a hammer and hurting everybody's feelings. I mean... I try real hard sometimes, but then it's Gellum says the thing, and everyone's like, ow, my feels. Yeah. I have to rant about this. We should back off. Maybe we should back off that. I'm just saying, like, we can talk about it. I, I don't really want to, though. Yeah, we just back off. Yeah. Uh, anyways, let's see. Hmm. If you want a topic, I, I got one for you. What? I got one for you. It's a very good topic. How do you feel about plants? Mm, they're all right. How do you feel about growing plants? Mm, they're fine, I guess. How do you? I mean, you got. How, how do you feel about crap. hydroponics? What's that? Hydroponics. So, okay. Basically, the most common vibe that it's got. The most common rap is like weed you know like how people have indoor like setups to grow plants namely weed how about to tell a weed joke nah I wasn't going to tell a weed joke I was just going to say the most common practice is it's just like uh, a it's just like a setup for indoor growing yeah that, that's I mean, basically hydroponics in a nutshell but they got this huge rap with like being associated with weed because you know that's kind of what hydroponics do that's kind of what they are hmm. is weed legal where you live yeah yeah it is 
I don't know and about I my... talk to my friends and I tell them I'm thinking about getting into the hydroponic business. And a lot of them are like, uh, Gildan, are you thinking about getting into the pop business? Like, is there something you're not telling us? And I'm just telling them, no, man. I just, I want to grow, like, peppers and lettuce. You're hooked on hydroponics. Well, I mean, it's not necessarily I'm hooked on, I'm still thinking about it. I haven't really made a full commitment on it. Grant, I did get a grow light, so I guess I, I, I guess I'm already there on a grow basic light. setup. Well, yeah, I guess real light. But at the same time, I mean, it's not like I haven't, it's not like I've gone hardcore, like straight up. Okay, now my whole room is set up with like some sort of drip system, water, nutrient system, because I haven't really gotten any sort of nutrients or like, uh, or water setup, which. I probably could, but at the same time, I haven't really dwelled into that thing. Uh, but at the same time, the point is, uh, you know, by the end of summer, who knows? I may just gather components. Uh, yeah. So, basically, you're not going to make wheat, though. You're going to make pepper. Nah, no. Nah. Oddly enough, though, I have, a, I have a buddy who's actually in the... Uh, Who's actually in the business? He actually, has a act, yeah. Can't talk right now. He acts as a broker, basically oh. uh, finding growers and giving it to sellers and kind of making a profit along the way. If you make some good peppers, I might buy them from you for. I don't know. If, well, that's kind of difficult to do, but uh, go. But I'm just saying, like, I actually got a buddy in the system, so I actually. It wouldn't be too difficult. I'd, all I'd have to do is get the license, and then like there, there I am. Grow it, make something quality, and then bam, I, I can be part of the weed industry. I don't want to yeah. be though. And you, you, uh, you not just be a shower. You also be a grower. Well, I'm, I, I mean, I just that's what I would be. I'd be a grower, but I mean, I'm not gonna be a grower. I just, I don't really feel like dealing with the hassle of all of the of the headaches that have to deal with growing pot because there's a lot of process like there's a lot of legalities to it and it's really confusing and it's no one really knows what's going on or what to do yeah now you'll be a grower not a show well i mean i'm just gonna grow vegetables i have no intention of growing pot Anyways, um, let's see. Now I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh. You're playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Listen, buddy, I used I'm to play Yu-Gi-Ohs, and then I realized I have no talent when it comes to card games. But at the same time, I remember the last pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards I ever opened. I ended it very satisfied because I got this one card, you see. It was a very amazing card. Uh, back in the day, and even ba even today, I feel like you could like work it into a deck, and maybe there's better cards to help with the process of it. But at the same time, I don't really know. What I do know is that when I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh, I died. I like I felt a bunch. I could not like play to save my life. Do you remember what that card was? But the card that I brought up, the one that you're curious, is Shadow Ghoul. Shadow Ghoul. Shadow Ghoul. It has mm. a very interesting effect. You need you need that maze for it, don't you? No, that's uh, Wall Shadow. Oh. But the card oh, in no, that is remember. also based... Is also like the same monster that's Shadow Ghoul. Yeah, he's 1600 and he gets a boost from like every zombie or something. No. Bet you're close. So, Shadow Ghoul... Uh, what, what the thing about Shadow Ghoul is, and it was actually in the, it was in the anime, uh, it was when Yugi fought Rebecca, and, uh, if I remember correctly, basically, Yugi was like, I'm kicking your ass, and she's like, not so fast, and then she whipped out Shadow Ghoul, and it's like, look at my, look at my fuck off monster, and it, it turns out its effect is, for every monster in the graveyard, it gets a hundred attack power boost. Wait, um... Who's Rebecca? 
Rebecca. Uh, I think it was Rebecca Hawkins or something like that. It was, uh, so, Yugi's grandfather had, like, a best friend, and his best friend gave him a oh, Blue White Dragons oh. card. And then, like, you never, yeah, you never hear from him again. And then Rebecca comes in, and it's like, my grandfather gave, uh, Yugi's grandfather, the blue eyes white dragon card. Give me it back, and so uh, I, they're like, it, it got torn. It, it's it's busted up, and she got all pissed off, and she killed Yugi. Yeah, and she had the demonic bear in the freaking bridge. Seat. Yeah, now you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. Anyways, um, what else? What else? So, anyways, I said I was playing. But I'm actually auto dual. Oh. Because I suck. Anyways. No, I suck. Uh, I had a whole paragraph about me saying I couldn't duel to save my life. I, yeah, meanwhile, I actually got a gold rank. No, I got I got a... Uh, a, tur a tournament duel. I got a red card. I got a red card. <laughs> Anyways, the game's called Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Oh. Pretty good. I, I don't do the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. I don't know how to use it. No, just in case you're one of your fans watch. Well, watch I mean, guys. maybe. If, if any of my fans want to fight Future Ruler, I mean, uh, I, I don't know. Maybe there's some information. Maybe there's not. I have no way of knowing. Mm, I just go by the same screen name wherever I go. Oh, Future Ruler? Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. If you want to do a future ruler, go do a future ruler. Is there a one, two, three at the end of that? Hold on, look. I'll check to make sure. It might oh, actually be man, something. he's got to check. Everybody, buckle up. This is going to get epic. Just wait for the build-up. Okay, just wait for this auto duel to finish. No, nah, oh, he ruined it. See, I was going to try to hype it up, build it up like it was going to be something special, but now it's like... He's got an auto duel, everybody. He's got an auto duel. Oh, he's down to the freaking last. Oh, he's down now to the last he... card, and his audio's breaking up. I beat. I beat. He's sounding like a robot. Motherfucker. Now, now it's all cleared up. It's all cleared up. Okay. You, you're you're back. I don't know what happened there. Uh, it's it's the aliens, man. There's the aliens just screwed with Skype. No, the aliens, are, they got the signals. They got the laser beams, you see. And so with the laser beams, um, they, they they mess with the interference. And so, you know, they beam the uh, data from point A to point B. And they're listening in on our conversations, plotting the next move. And so tomorrow, I'm going to be abducted. I won't be online. But the following day, I will. And I'll, I'll uh, I don't know, I'll be like ten times weirder. Whatever you say, Rick. Uh, I'm not... Say. How? What? <laughs> that didn't... You know that... No. Is, if I was... Is, I, I cannot imitate Rick, okay? If I could imitate Rick, it'd be even better. Because I, I would have the voice, and I'd, I'd be, like, belching in between here and there, and then I'd, I'd call you Morty, and then I'd be like, uh, Morty, you don't understand the aliens. They're listening to our conversation. They, they, they got one of those tractor beams and they're gonna like try to eliminate all of us it's a it's, it's a conspiracy morty it's a conspiracy you know that, there is a, a rumor that they're both like crazy or something wait morty or Rick? Yeah, oh. like in some cases both of them in some cases one of them's like retarded the other one's crazy most of rick's crazy and uh the idea is that he everything that he does is just like uh, hallucination, and they're just in the garage the whole time. Well, I mean, uh, there's only one way to validate this. Rick trips on heavy doses of LSD. Yeah, kind of like that. That's the only rationale. Rationale. Anyways, apparently my screen name is only Lance. Lance? Oh. Uh, that's... Sir Lancelot. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that's what I'm gonna call you from now on, Lancelot. 
Yeah, that's what everybody calls me. Really? Yep. It's been my nickname since, like, third grade. That and Lance Pants. Lance? Well, I mean, you know he can dance. Yeah. Lance Dance Pants. <laughs> you ever play uh, Vice City? Uh, yeah. I, I, I like that game. It's not as good as, like, San Andreas, but it's it's pretty good. Was that? No, wait, that was Grand Theft Auto 4. Oh. I got the first uh, DLC. Wait, what? Yeah, that's, was, that's 4. It was like, that was with Nico. Was, I, couldn't, I couldn't play 4. Okay, I got way too popular in that game. I, I could not manage all the contacts at once. For some reason, it's just, it became too much. Every time I wanted to do something, it was like, Hey, Nico! Cousin, let's go bowling. I was like, God damn it, God damn it, Roman, not now. But, it's uh, like, Hey, Nico, let's go, let's go throw darts. It's like, No, Brucey, I'm not into that right now. And then you felt sorry for him every time. No, I didn't, cause I was just, I just wanted to play the game, and I couldn't, cause every time I felt bad, cause it's like, I, I know I say no, but at the same time. Every time Roman was like, hey cousin, let's go bowling, I'd be like, okay Roman, let's let's go bowling. Or, okay Michelle, let, let's go on a date. Okay Brucey, I, I understand. And it was just going that vicious cycle of never getting anything done, because it's like, oh my god, I have like nine different social links I have to manage so that I can get the high persona, and so I can go beat TARDIS, and then everything will be good. Except this isn't Persona, it's Grand Theft Auto. And you only well, unlock anyway. some uh, variant of awesomeness. But then you go to Persona, and it fits perfectly, because you, you increase the social links with your people and your friends, and you get the better Persona. And you get the better Persona, and then you're able to actually win the game. And you feel accomplished. Anyways, uh, the Ballad of Gay Tony... Uh... I think that was the first DLC that Grand Theft Auto. It, was either, I, it might have been Lost and Damned. That, yeah, that or Lost and Damned. That was one of those two. I don't remember which one came first. So I'm actually wanting to lean toward Lost and Damned right now. It might have been Ballad of Gay Tony. I don't know. Anyways, uh, so I have yet to actually beat GTA 4. <laughs> I have yet to beat it either. I, I probably, but I beat uh, 5, but for some reason, 5 was rather, like, balanced in terms of the social aspects, so I didn't feel like I constantly was being harassed to, like, go hang out with all these people. Yeah, well, I, you probably got closer to it than I did. Well, I mean, like, well, when I say I beat it, I beat it for PS5, or, I beat it for the PS3. I also haven't gotten around to 5 yet. Oh, you should. Yeah, just things happen, you know. I'll try to get around to it eventually. I think you'll get around to it now. No, I won't. Oh, Anyways. I think I think he's gonna get around to it very soon, everybody. Yeah, and that now for this the story of three little pigs. Three little pigs. Boys. That's what your voice sounded like. You're going to read Three Little Pigs or something. Uh, well, I would, except I think we're out of time. Oh. I know, right? We've been talking for half an hour, and we went off the deep end, and I have no idea what I was talking about, but I guess we're just going to have to save that for next time. Yeah, next time maybe I'll read some creepy pastas. No! Everybody, you have to understand, every time Future Ruler reads me a creepypasta, my mind literally melts into mush. I literally lose oh. my brain. In fact, if you want, the cre the real creepypasta is Gelm Sanity level drops to an all-time low. And I don't even know what well, I'm thinking anymore. Well, to be fair, last time, I was making them up. Last time, I just, I lost all hopes of recovering. Last time I went to a mental institute to try to figure out who killed him is, and I, I lost the sense of self. But this, this time around, I'll read him. No.